Good morning. My name is Judy. I will be taking over the Chief Architect Instagram account all day. Um, just headed to the office right now, so stay tuned. Hi again. Um, I want to formally introduce myself. My name is Judy Lee Carr, and I am the founder and principal designer of Jubilee Interiors. We are a residential design firm that is based in Thousand Oaks, Southern California. And today I'll be taking over Chief Architect's Instagram account all day. I've got some fun things planned. I'm gonna be showing you a few projects that we've been working on. But if there's anything else that you wanna see or questions that you have for me, you can respond to this little box that I'll be placing down below and I'll be responding to the questions throughout the day, sprinkled throughout the day. So yeah, I hope you stay tuned. So I am currently working on finalizing some construction documents and ready to send out for print to have it out on the job site so our contractors can reference to these plans while doing their renovation. This is for a kitchen and two bathroom um, remodel for a project out in LA. Um, and I just wanted to show you some of the existing and demo, how things are clearly indicated with different line um, styles and indication. So it's really easy to reference to. And this is our proposed floor plan with indication of where the new walls are, dimensions, and door and window schedule. So everything is really easy to reference to on site. And these are printed in 24 by 36, which I'm gonna send it out right now and have it picked up. Another aspect I really wanna show you is actually the floor plan view. Um, and this is what we call plan view where it's the bread and butter of the project. Everything is worked off here. It seems really technical, but this is where we are actually able to produce Ta-da! Oh, beautiful 3D rendering drawings. Um, pretty, pretty. This is for the bathroom, which we are so, so excited about. So a little bit about me. I really love being very efficient with my time. Um, I usually start the day with responding to emails or making phone calls, anything that is admin related or even client emails, anything that's pressing that I can just give a quick response out to. And I also like to end my day with that. Um, that just helps me know that I have a dedicated time to do all these tasks. Um, but every day is a little bit different and that's what's so great about this job. Um, some days we're on site doing walkthroughs with the contractors, meeting with clients. Um, some days we go to showrooms, our vendor showrooms, to pick up samples, learning about new products. Yeah, so every day is a little different, really. Um, right now I'm going to be finishing up some emails and making calls. Uh, and then I'll be working on design related stuff because I know that's what you guys are here to see. <laughs> so I started my company actually in the middle of the pandemic and back in 2020 um, when COVID hit I was an overhead I was the last hire at my place of employment at that time and I could not quarantine at home and do nothing I was aching I was dying to work on projects so I reached out to people that I knew um, friends and family and people that I've worked with um, and let them know that I'm dying to do a project. If you know anyone you could refer me to, I'm happy to do a free consultation. And one thing led to another, things picked up. 
work got around and I got busy. Um, one more thing that I wanted to add on to that is I feel that starting my own business, it really would not have made it so far without the connections and network that I've built over the time that I've been living here in LA. Um, it's, it's, I'm really grateful. It has all been really organic. I actually don't have a lot of friends and family here. I am from Singapore, born and raised, and I only moved here to California like three, four years ago, back in 2018. So when you start your own business, you really just got to know people. You got to network. You got to be nice, be kind. You never know who you're going to meet that will be helping you along the way in the future. And the people that I've met, I never thought that they would be helping me that much. So yeah, more of the story. Be kind and be nice and be hardworking. So I want to show you guys how I specify this tile into this powder bath rendering. It's from Tile Bar. It's called Eastern Summit Matte White Subway Tile. So first of all, knowing that this is what I want to specify, I would go into the manufacturer's website, get a really good resolution picture, save it. Um, I'm not going to double save it because I've already saved it um, into a folder in your projects folder. I named the folder texture so it's easy for me to reference to. Um, go into Chief Architect, add a new material, um, create new, name your texture, add a file, and click OK. And you can make any necessary adjustments you want to, like the size the material the um how you want it to show up in the renderings but so just paint over and voila So um, those were the design boards for Project 76th Street uh, for our upcoming presentation, which we're so excited about. Um, I find that design boards are really helpful, but what's even better are <laughs> Chief Architect rendering walkthrough. I tend to always have the side-by-side -side comparison of the layout plan and plan view with the renderings during our presentation. I will walk through the spaces with our clients. And I find that clients understand the design a lot better with these visual tools and i think that's chief architect's best um feature and one feature that i cannot live without it i i, I think it tends to always seem to deal we don't really go back and forth with a lot of revision because of this walkthrough so if you guys, thank you so, so much for following along today's Chief Architect Takeover with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I had so much fun. Um, I still have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to sign off right here right now and say good night. Um, I also want to say if you want to follow along on my personal Instagram account, I'll be adding the link here. It's at jubilee.interiors. I post a lot about projects dates, projects progress, projects behind the scenes. And I also talk a little bit about my business growth, my career, um, and personal goals as well. So if you have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them over there also. So yeah, thank you so, so much for following along today. I really appreciate your time. And it was so nice to meet you. Peace out.